Guys, in this video, look at this Atlas of Human Anatomy by Mr. Frank Nitter. Basically, just look at the images inside and get an idea, okay, what exactly it is. See, look at these images. Doesn't it look so... Um, to me, it looks very computerized kind of images. But these images, like this one, see, they come with a signature here, right? Yeah, see here? So that tells me that this is kind of hand-drawn. So if you look at, if you look at this, it indicates that these are hand-drawn images, which is really good because they look very graphic actually. I mean, graphic in the sense not bad. I'm saying they look like they're using some graphics and making it, right? And all of these images come as, they're called as plate, plate 37. This is not a page number. This is more like a plate number, right? They don't have page number. Actually, this book doesn't have page numbers. <clears throat> it's the plate number, okay? Looks like his signature is everywhere here. Come on, focus. So this is the transverse section. Okay. Transverse is more like horizontal, isn't it? More like a coronal section, can you say? We can say, right? This one. This is showing the maxillary sinus. Where is it? Here? This is the maxillary sinus, isn't it? They have labeled it here. See? Maxillary sinus. So basically, there are a lot of sections in this book. For each section, like uh, which section is this? Nervous system. And what is this one? Head and neck, upper limb, lower limb. So, so many images. What is this one where there are so, so many images? These are some bonus plates continued. Okay, focus. Very nice. Look at that. This is very nice. You know, this is how it should be. So you can understand. See, sometimes those textbooks give us only this image. So it's very difficult for us to visualize which is anterior, which is posterior. So this is distal and this is proximal. And what you're looking at is the, the view from this side. Anyways, I really liked that view. <clears throat> and here you can see what all this, what, what are these? These are the palmar introsious muscles. See, the middle one doesn't have, what is this called as? Metatar metacarpal. This doesn't have the muscle. Right? And there's one, two, three only they have shown here. And here, what are they showing? Here they are showing the dorsal introsious muscle. Okay. Let's turn a few pages. As you can see, all the images have his signature. Nice, right? So we are done looking at this book. 